Whoa! The Nia Replicant remake came out. I've been waiting for this for ages. I can't wait to like sit down, you know, play the game, enjoy it for what it is, you know. Well, just game. To my eyes, you can't play the game. Whoa! Shit! King Black Dragon from RuneScape? What do you mean I can't play the game? You have to make a drip list on the characters, Tamaius. No, I don't want to make a drip list. I want to play the game. You sold your soul to the devil, Tamaius. You have to make a drip list. Now! Ah! Look at this goofball. Why is she wandering around wearing pajamas? Like, come on, get out of bed. Get ready, get dressed. Do something productive with your day. Stop being such a little loser. Stop, like, faking an illness so you can get away with doing nothing. I see straight through you. You have gotten a fake sick note from some doctor that you're friends with, and you just can't be bothered to go and contribute to society. I I know the truth. Plus, what's this little head, head thing going on? Like, style... You can't be bothered to style your hair, so you're just wearing a... Is, is that, like, a, a napkin on your head? Come on, man. That... The same drip. Alright, what's even going on here? Look at that whack hairstyle. What's a fringe? Why you got a pointy fringe? That sucks. You suck. With your little pointy fringe. Why are you wearing an apron, but also like some bougie dress? Like, what are you going for some like Gucci layering look? Are you trying to look like you're wearing Gucci, but you're not? And then this little show? Like, <laughs> like I mean, <laughs> it's just not drip, is it? Come on. I, I like the staff. You got that staff? Is that 24 cat? Oh my god. I d that, that ain't gold. That's brass. That's a brass staff. You, 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 you polished up a brass staff and tried to fool me like it's gold? What's wrong with you? You little, you little phony with the fake Gucci and the fake staff. Get, get out of here, you, you imposter. Alright, I'm gonna put it out there. I like this ancient voodoo magic shit you got going on with these swirly little, like, glowy, shady little things and those, those wings? You got wings, bro? I, I, I like the look of that, okay? It's, it's kinda cool, but why are you so angry for, bro? You were, you were just stomping around in the worst of moods at all times, like, what, y y your sister's ill or something? What are you, a, f a fucking loser? Like, cheer up, man. Y you're just going around with this, this emo haircut and this little grey, sad look. Like, you need to cheer up, man. You need to smile a little bit and stop looking so down. Like, man, what what happened to you? You used to be such, like, an, an upstanding, outgoing dude, and now all of a sudden you're just moody. Like, you hit puberty and get the mood swings, bro? You, you, you some pubescent teen right now? Like, pff, come on, man. Sort it out. We got this black book. It's nice. It's got silver engraving on it, which is kind of fire. And it got this nice little smiley face, right? But I know you might think I'm insane by saying a book with literal silver on it's not, it isn't drip, but while it might look like silver and you might think it's silver, <laughs> <laughs> it's actually just aluminium. Grimoire Noir coming out with aluminium. <laughs> what year is this? My dude, what year is this? Get up with the trends, everyone dripping with gold and silver and you out here with aluminium. Aluminium! I don't care how much you smile at me, you fucking dog. Take the aluminium out of here. At first glance, this guy, this guy has a nice amount of drip. He got those big gloves and big boots. And you know we like to see big gloves and big boots around these parts. And that's a nice sword, bro. You got a nice sword. Like, this guy, he's, he's a good looking young lad. He's got a nice hairstyle. And he's got a few chains going on. He's a bit of a, a bit of a chain wearing kind of dude. But there's, there's one major problem I've got with this guy. He's got those big stomper boots going on, but he's wearing shorts. Like, what are you trying to achieve? You're like protecting your shins, but you're happy for your thighs to get cold? What? Like, either wear some sandals with those shorts, or even some, like, nice, you know, like, sand shoes or something, you know, small, lightweight on your feet if you're gonna be rocking shorts. Some running shoes, maybe? But don't wear these big stomping boots with shorts. It makes no sense. You don't make any sense. You. You obviously have no fashion sense. You've got lucky with the choice of drip, but you just haven't put it together properly. I hope one day you can turn this around and maybe, you know, make a nice look for yourself. This kid, while his outfit is kind of fire, he got this like royal purple silk fit going on that's clearly been 
custom tailored to his fucking desire. You know this kid has bespoke clothing, that's beside the point. There's just a problem I have with this guy, he's clearly like, he turns people to stone whenever he looks at them, like what's with that? What's with that? that that's not drip bro, you can't just go look at people and turn them to stone, like what's the problem? I don't understand why you would do that to someone. I mean, nice staff, by the way, but you don't look like a wizard. Is that actually yours? Did you did you steal that from someone? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's kind of fire. It's kind of gold. It's a titanium staff with gold accents on the top. Is that gold leaves? Are those meant to replicate leaves? That's very, very nice. But come on, man. You can't be walking around turning people to stone. Also, what's going on with your shirt? Why you got all those lapels, bro? <laughs> That kind of sucks. That's that's like what what year is this? Eighteen fucking whenever? What? I, I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm saying actually. All right, I can get behind this outfit. She changed out with her pajamas finally because she realised, wow, I look like a fucking fool, and got a nice uh and got a nice dress. It's a really nice dress actually. It's it's. It's very stylish, it's, it's going for a very like Y2K kind of look, and that's a nice bow. The bow's a little bit too big though, and maybe we've got too many bows going on. Like, I, I like the big initial one at the front. Is that is that Louis Vuitton print on that bow? Damn! Sheesh! Very nice, but then you got the two little also green bows on her shoulders, and I'm just thinking, there's such a thing as doing too much. Uh, you know what I mean? It kind of lets the look down. I'm not gonna lie, it's a pretty nice look, but the the over the overdoing the bows is really letting it down. Although I like this whole little this whole little ruby heart that she got tied her leg. That that kind of drip trailing that around. Hopefully it doesn't get lost though. That could that could kind of get stolen. A lot of people are gonna hate me for this, okay? But this game has a lot of drip. I'm not saying this ain't drip, but I'm saying there's a lot better drip in this game. We got Kaine, we got everyone's favorite anime babe. You know we like anime babes around these parts, but come on, she's just doing the pajama thing again. Yeah, I know she's doing it like different to Yona. Yona's a kid. Yona's just wearing pajamas. Kaine's wearing very inappropriate pajamas to be wearing outside. She got that that under boob going on when she's wearing her pajamas. Yeah, it's kind of, yeah, it's drip. That whole leg band is, is drip and she got the heels on. She got the Louboutins, which is again, major drip. She got these two matching swords, which are kind of rusty. Oh, she got that lunatia on her ear. That very lovely flower, which is, I mean, everyone who knows Nia knows that is insane drip. So I'll give it to her. But come on, just like maybe put a nice dress on and or something and we can talk because Okay, I'm intimidated, I said it. Yo, is that like Gucci layering? Very nice. I like how he taken inspiration from very bougie clothing brands. Those pants are absolute fire with the little thigh little thigh peeking out. Very, very nice. I like it's it's like it's very subtle but very cool. The apron is sick, it's practical, you don't want to get any spillages on your outfit, I understand. Very cool. Plus that haircut, bro. That haircut's insane. Look at that for a weave. Oh, he's talking about the weaves. Look at that for a weave. Absolutely unreal. And is that is that a mahogany handle on that staff with a solid gold 24 carat crescent on top? Wow. This is how to execute drip properly. A brown leather book with actual real silver engraving. Okay, eat your heart out, Noah. This is, this is what it's meant to look like. This is how you do book drip. This is literal drip, literature drip, whatever you want to call it. I get the guy's frowning and he's not got as nice of a facial expression as the other guy, but come on. Look how far he's been boosted compared to the last little miserable book we had. Weiss? Vice? However you want to fucking pronounce it, is absolutely fucking dripping. There's no doubt about it. Look at the craftsmanship of this book. Not to mention he's not pure evil like his counterpart. An absolute beast where drip is concerned. Look at those big old detached sleeves. My man got a tank top said yeah this is drip but my arms might get a little chilly so he made his own leather sleeves with absolute bespoke engravement on very nice very fucking cool then he got these boots that be made for walking bro are those are those thigh highs <laughs> my dude you you learned how boots should be done and those chains those thigh chains those are fire those look like little little horseshoes on thigh chains bro 
very nice. Then he got more chains around his waist and around his shoulders. This guy really fucking loves his chains. Then he got this big ass weapon. He be flaunting this big sword. It's absolutely enormous. But he's he's a strong he's a strong guy. He can handle that. And then look at that hairstyle, that nice hairband in his white weave. This pure white hair with that hairband. It's such a nice contrast with the dark coloured hairband, I must say. Also, he's a pretty good looking guy, so I'll give him that. Then those white pants, he really knows how to colour coordinate. I'll give it to you. Fans of the channel know me pretty well, and they know what I like to see. Now think to yourself, what is Tamaris' favourite thing? That gives the most drip to an outfit. It's a bespoke fucking headpiece. Look at my man. This might be the best headpiece I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm just gonna put it out there. Like Mikolash with a cage on his head has nothing on this dude. Look at that fucking headpiece. He's got a custom mask. He's got this big cheesy smile because we love to see confidence. We love to see happiness. Everyone knows your personality and what you're like in within and outside compliments to your drip. And this guy, you can tell this guy guy has a heart of gold. Look at that big bright smile and those big bright eyes. He's absolutely handsome. What a beautiful bald man. Plus he's a fucking magician now. Remember how I said he had that magic staff? Oh, well look at it now. He's still got that same staff from when he was a, well, a human. But look at that staff and this cloak. Look at the pattern on the cloak. How long do you think it took someone to stitch that stitch by stitch? Because you know that's bespoke. You know he didn't go down there to some store and get that. Then he got this neck scarf, which is black and gold, which is a really fucking nice colour scheme to complement the green and brown of his cloak. Really bounce off each other fucking well. He's a very, very well-styled man. Then he got these skinny little legs, though. Uh, yeah, he's kind of bony, but he really should not skip leg day. You know I always say, don't skip leg day. And this guy did just that. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn a blind eye to that because of that headpiece. What a good fucking headpiece that is. I am, I'm breathless. I'm, I'm blown back by this. I really don't know what else to say. You, you're gonna be thinking, how's he not number one? Well, <laughs> just wait. He's big, he's bad, he has a bespoke headpiece, and he wears Versace. None other than the King of Facade. Look at this beast. He got this custom cloak. It's like a kind of skirt going on, and we love to see a guy wearing a skirt. We love a man in a dress. Shout out to this guy for breaking gender norms. We have this guy in his nice Versace robe. He got solid gold coins. Let me just tell you that. He wearing full currency all the way around the bottom of his robe, all the way around the shawl that goes over his shoulders, and then his neck scarf, which is, man, can I just say, that is a real nice neck scarf. I don't know how long the neck you are hiding under there is, but everyone knows long necks are in at the minute. But look all the way around that neck piece, gold coins. You know what much one of those coins is worth in British pounds? 10,000 pounds. He's got, each of those is 10K. I'm just going to work some quick maths and tally this up. 2,000 years later. I actually just ran the maths and ran the numbers for this. In the coins alone on his outfit, he has 540 coins on his outfit. That means in the coins alone, this Versace outfit is worth 5.4 million British pounds. <laughs> and then there's the bells. Each of the bells probably worth, you know... If a coin's worth 10 grand, I'd say one of the bells is worth 10 grand. We've got 12, so that means 12,000. So it's, yeah, there's another 12,000 in bells on the bottom. Then you've got another, yep, another 12 up there, 24, another 24,000 in bells. So you've got 5.4 million and then 24,000 in bells. And then that mask, how much do you think that mask costs? You know he took that from a master carpenter. And then he's got this platinum spear painted black. Absolutely beautiful. The King of Facade is probably the heaviest strip I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm just going to say it. Out of all the humans I've rated of drip, this is the human with the most drip. And that haircut, absolutely styling, bro. You've got such nice hair. I just want to run my hand through it. It looks so silky and soft. And then you know what I'm about to say, guys. He is fighting with his feet out. He is the king of an establishment with his feet out. There's no more I need to say, really, apart from this beast has some serious fucking drip. Shout out the King of Facade. Shout out Neo Replicant for having some unbelievable drip. And thank you all for watching. Mwah.